a cardiac extent which is like your spring of the ballpoint pen cost ten dollars to manufacture sold for two thousand dollars and the budget is five hundred dollars doctor's hospitality and a company gets a small profit of thousand four hundred and ninety dollars per cent cholesterol lowering alone is one point seven two trillion dollar business one company which sells cholesterol drugs gets an on an average 15 to 18 billion dollars profit. A cardiac extent, which is like your spring of the ballpoint pen cost ten dollars to manufacture. Sold for two thousand dollars and the budget is five hundred dollars doctor's hospitality. And a company gets a small profit of thousand four hundred and ninety dollars per cent. And of course you don't get it for two thousand. The hospital will have add to so many things that salt, then you know seasoning, etc., etc. It becomes about three, four lakhs. Now, what does it do at the end of the day? Nothing, because the blocks you see are not disease at all. The disease that kills you is not seen in the angiogram. It's called vulnerable plaque, which can't be seen. These blocks are very good because every even a child has a block. They did angiogram for young children in the American Army, aged between 18 and 22, died in the Vietnam War and the Korean War. They had four vessel blocks, three vessel blocks. They were very healthy because God has given enough. That's called remodeling the heart. It's preconditioning it. These people with the block get a heart attack, they won't die. But if one gets a heart attack without a block, he will drop down dead. So, but we frighten that. We tell them, do you know the centers we use? You are sitting on a volcano. It might burst any minute. So the fellow says, uh, can he go home and come back? He has talked to his wife. I don't know. On your way back home also you may die. So you better do it now. Do you know why? If the bakra goes out and talks to somebody, he may not come back. Now, chartered accountant will tell you a, a cost of a cardiac catheter lab and surgery will be about 30 to 40 crores today. They don't put their money. They put some black money as uh, this thing and then borrow it from the bank. There are obliging bankers who give you money. Now, having got the money, now calculate the interest. Calculate the other thing. So you require minimum four bakras a day to run the show. That is why Mark Tain wrote, I quote, for a man with a hammer in the hand and wanting to use it, everything here looks like a nail needing hammering. Absolutely true. That is why we have become a menace to society. It has to change. It can't change otherwise. It has to change from within. And that change can come only if we can give, bring here a generation, future generation, which is not as greedy as we are. It's a human greed that kills another human being. And if you don't have greed and if you don't have, as somebody rightly said, I think Sapan said, you have to ego, your ego, you have to sell it. Is it? That's why the first thing I sold was, before I sold anything else, my ego in the market. So people say, oh, we must come to take you. I said, why do you come to take me? Do I get any special thing? And they say, we'll get the car. I said, look, you bring a car from 100 miles to pick me up. Then you take me to your place. Then you have to drop me back. That means four trips a day. Sir, that is our own car. Car is yours, but where is the oil from? You have to pay for it, no? Now, what do I get if you come or if you don't come? I will take a taxi from here. My taxi company fellow is there. I will come to your place, pay his taxi fare. And then I will come back. So it saves at least two trips. They don't understand. People don't like it, sir. Chief guest, we have to bring him and all. I said, my driver brings me better than you. You know, I know him because I've been using that car for donkey's years and he is very safe. I can even sleep in that car. You don't bring a big car with a driver who is not known. I can't every minute I have to be awake. People don't understand that. Because people want to be big, you know. I, people call me, you know, uh, our naughty girl Poonam was calling me a VIP. I said, I'm not a VIP. I'm a VVIP. Very, very insignificant.